So continuing from the last video, we now want to compute all the steps through the forward propagation in the neural network. And we looked at how these calculations can look like for a specific node and for a specific training example to understand how it works in the simplest case. But we now need to generalize this. So if let's look at a similar example, similar neural network as we did last time. We can write the output from our, or the, the input as a zero and the output from the hidden layer as a one. The reason why we can use this notation instead of referring to the specific training example and the specific node is because this can be viewed as a matrix. So a zero is a matrix containing as its rows all of the of the examples. So let's say we have handwritten images, images of handwritten, Im uh, handwritten digits rather, then the, the examples would be all of the images. So we have examples as our rows and the columns will be the features um, and specifically in layer zero. So that will be in the input and for images that would be the pixels and if we look at the weight the weights so we have in generalized we have weights for layer L then that will be the features in the previous in the L layer previous and the features for the L next. So if you look at W of one, then that would be the features, features L zero comma features L one. And in this case, we have three input and we have five in our hidden layer. So that would be three comma five in this case. So really why, why this works is because if we look at, for example, the first calculation, so the Z of layer one, which will be A zero times weight one plus the biases of layer one, then look look at this multiplication. It will be the examples comma features L zero, so here and here. We have through matrix multiplication uh, matrix multiplication that these two will cross. So each node in our, in the input will be um, will be multi um, multiplicated by each of the weights associated to that node and then they will add them together so just as the example we looked at in the first video this is the case but in general general notation now there's one tricky part still um, that's not very obvious at first so if we do this matrix, matrix multiply we'll get examples I'll just write examples comma features features L1 so that's from this multiplication and then we add the biases but remember the biases are local for that specific node which means that we have one comma features L1 so each node in the layer one has a specific bias associated with the, with the node so the reason why this addition works for all of the examples, because obviously these don't match, is that it's called it's something called uh, broadcasting. That when we add these two together, uh, it's called broadcasting in Python. This one will be expanded into into rows 
the which which is the same um, quantity as examples so this this one will turn to the number that's that the number of examples that we have and then the columns for each of those rows will be the that will be identical and then we can make the the addition and then we need to calculate a the active the output from layer 1 which will be the relu of z1 and remember that this will be element wise for each node and for all training examples and the relu is just a maximum of 0 comma z1 and then for the output layer we do very much the same thing z2 will be a1 w2 plus b2 and remember this addition here will also use broadcasting then we need to remember here that the last the, the layer 2 is the output layer and the output layer never has an activation function but it rather it has a softmax classifier to turn the the scores of the z this z to probabilities so the softmax let's look at the softmax the softmax of our particular node j of z will be e raised to z of that particular node so it will be e raised to the score of that particular node j divided by the sum of all of the nodes so what the output from this will be a value between 0 and 1 because we've normalized it we've taken the sum of all of the values uh, and so we're taking the value of a particular node and divided by the sum of all so each node would have a value between 0 and 1 so what we do is that we we, we call the pr probabilities to be the softmax of z2 and so remember this will output the probabilities for all of the nodes and also for all training examples since this matrix contains both the examples and all of the nodes and the only tricky part left now is to calculate the loss so the loss and uh, the loss I will write as L and we need to write it for a particular training example I will be minus a log and here comes the tricky part f of y i of z so remember this will be in our example or in our case this will be z2 and layer 2 but let's just write z here for in the general case so it can be whatever layer and let me explain this y i so we only take the minus log of remember f is the computed from our neural network y i will be the y will be a vector containing the labels for the correct uh, the correct output so y i will be the correct label for that particular training example so if we have handwritten digits let's say that y is a vector where the first training example the true value is a 0 the second value is a 2 and 3 and so on so so we have an image where the correct label is 0 the correct label of the second image is 2 third image is 3 so what we want to have is let's say the correct label of y1 is 0 okay so 
what is it that we do? Well, we take the computed value that we have from our network of the node which is the correct one. So let me write this out. We take the minus log of e raised to z y i. So the node that is the 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 correct uh, correct node or the correct label for this particular training example, and we still divide by the sum of all of the nodes. Okay, so now we're ready for the backward propagation. See you in the next video.